Celia pancakes. Venkat pancakes. Yes! Patient cured! Yes! I want us both to be totally official. Which Molly is totally happy about, which is real cute. Hello, my little peaches, and welcome back to another episode of Nut So Berry Plum Generation. And in the last episode, our very own little Lila. I feel like her name's starting to come out right more often than it's starting to come out incorrectly nowadays. So character development, it's progress. We love to see it. Um, Car well, I almost just called her Caroline. What? Lila had her first kiss with the wonderful Molly after the two of them doing a little dance which got um, streamed so we've actually started to build up a little bit of an audience as well which is really really cool and um, yeah very very exciting at times for our very own little purple haired princess her purple hair is obviously a little bit low key at the moment because we are still in the medical career and we treated two patients in the last episode so I'm really hoping to get another patient treated today and another promotion so aims this episode are promotion i'm also super aware that i'm aging up in three days and i really wanted to get like to level five of the doctor career before like i don't know we've got to do quite a lot with lila let's just remind ourselves really quickly of this generation's not so berry challenges so we are almost at the adult phase of our lifestyle we still need to master okay master dance i've done but they're still gonna master two of the skills of my choosing and achieve at least level eight and six other skills so it's quite a lot of work also complete the renaissance sim aspiration then get divorced and later remarry the same sim so even if things are going really well with Molly, which they are, I do have to divorce Molly at some point. But don't worry, we will be remarrying potentially later in life. Well, we have to, it's part of the challenge. And also, we must live in three different worlds over the course of our life. So, we started out our life in Brindleton Bay. Now we are in, is it Newcrest right now? Um, so I think when we enter the entertainment career, then we'll get to live in um, some different worlds. I'd kind of like to live in more than just one other different one, but for the challenge, we only have to do one more. In terms of my skills, let me just make this real big so I can see them all. Oh, and we've woken up passionate. Hot and heavy. Is that because you're thinking about your first kiss? Yes, it is. My cooking is at level nine. So cooking is probably the one that we're going to master next. After that, singing is level six and logic is level seven. So there are other two pretty strong ones. But yeah, it feels like because we cook all the time, whenever I invite someone over, I try and cook them a brand new meal. That feels like a pretty good one to do. I thought cooking, uh, gourmet cooking was out of five. It's actually out of 10. However, we're on six of that. So I need to hit level eight in... Um, eight other skills so i feel like charisma it's looking like it's going to be one of them comedy could be as well i feel like we're going to need that for the entertainment career but then we've got gourmet cooking guitar logic piano i need to get crackalacking back on again and singing and also our writing is pretty good that's potentially a but there is still obviously an awful lot of work to do we've got work in two hours time so i'm gonna start my day with a little sing in the shower and then i will um serve a little gourmet meal for let's do a let's do a home style prep actually for beef and chicken fish pie for a little pepper out here who is loving the cold weather by the way definitely loving the cold weather what is this sandwich that we've got going on just a ham and chair sandwich that molly made is just outside the house okay and i've been changing the hair in between each episode sorry babe you're in the shower there and i'm just like curving on you i don't love that i've been changing up her hair every in between each episode so that her hair looks like it's growing out getting longer but i'm kind of excited to do some like funky styles once we enter the entertainment career and start to go a lot more like deeply purple which is the right way to do it for this challenge i guess you don't have to do the colored hair and the colored clothes for the not so berry challenge but We've done it with all the other generations. I actually really like doing it. So I'm looking forward to going back to some more vibrant hair colors when we enter the entertainment career, which I'm also pretty excited about because I downloaded a bunch of mods that will hopefully let me build a little trailer. I think there's actually one on the gallery from the creator of the trailer. So um, I'm gonna create Lila a trailer and that's what we will use when we're in the entertainment career. Okay, so this is another reason. Oh, I need to buy a, a heater for the house, don't I? Uh, this is another reason why we've been... Um, kind of getting our cooking up so much we cook for ourselves but we also cook for our dog although we're kind of running out of time you've got five minutes to finish this meal off don't think it's gonna happen so we'll have a half finished meal for doggo when we get home but i do have to bounce because i'm gonna join you because we're gonna aim to treat another patient today and okay 
you guys gave me some really, really good uh, tips for this because we're in an intern bubble right now and what I need to do is be in a cure patient bubble. So, oh no, none of these patients are ready to cure. And I'm still not really good enough to cure patients. I was hoping if I got some like, you know, patients with a little red um, bubble over their head instead of the green. You know what? I'm still going to do it. You guys gave me this tip of locking the door for... Oh. I thought I'd be able to lock it for everybody except me. So that I would always get all the best, best patients. And that was such a good tip. However... It won't actually let me do that, which is a specific search. Uh, never mind. I am gonna still try and smash my day, but I really could do, really could do with actually having someone to treat. Okay. I'm just gonna try and do everything I can on everyone. A lot of them I think I'm gonna have to refer to Brenton, but if there's any I don't need to refer to Brenton, that would be amazing. Oh my gosh, why are you all blue? There's so many patients, but like all of them are blue. Oh, it just keeps telling me to like transfer the case. Uh, I'm gonna see if I just, mm, I don't wanna transfer. This is my patient, Charlene, she's mine. I wanna try and cure her. I'm just gonna try and do everything else and see. Cause it's like, it's saying deliver medication to a patient, but obviously I can't do that to anyone that doesn't have the red little thing above their heads. So I'm just gonna see if running every single test on this poor child y yields any results at all. Yeah, it just keeps telling me it was a good learning experience. Ah, I'm just gonna x-ray this poor child for literally no other reason than I want a promotion. The child looks so done by all of this, by the way. Yep, good learning experience. That's literally all I'm getting. Oh, I have to transfer them. I'm gonna have to transfer them. Brenton gets all of the fun, I swear. I don't get to treat anyone. Look, I could give it to one of my fellow interns but I'm gonna help our family because blood's sicker than water so there we go <laughs> especially if you have a nice family you know well only if you have a nice family to be honest okay let's try with our next dude oh it's just another transfer this is driving me mad I'm gonna throw one to Jeremiah because I think feel kind of bad about the whole situation so there you go Jeremiah <gasps> oh my gosh this kid's got a red one this kid's got a red one <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, nobody else go anywhere near this room. I swear, I swear this child is mine. Hurry up and finish x-raying this dude. Just, oh my gosh, Celia of all the times. No, babes, no, 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 no. Finish, finish, come on, scan, scan, scan. Okay, yeet him back into his bed. You need this child, you need this child, you need this child so badly. Oh my gosh, walk slower, walk slower. <gasps> And my workday is ending in an hour. Wait, where's this kid going? Why would you put him back in that bed? Why would you put him in that bed of all the beds? What are you doing? Put this patient in a bed right now. Oh my gosh, she's stressing me out. Um, Leave work early. Stay late. Stay late. You have to do this. Okay, kid, you are going to be my ticket to a promotion. Here is your llama flu vaccination. Let's get you vaccinated. Oh, there we go. See, that wasn't so bad. And now I've treated three patients. Da, 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 da. Okay, hopefully this is gonna be enough. I'm doing excellent at work, but I'm just gonna try and smash through as many work tasks as I can. Just to guarantee myself, guarantee myself that promotion. She keeps trying to get food from the vending machine, but I'm like, babes, no, nope, 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 nope. And oh my gosh, she looks so bad. <laughs> She's so tired. They were up really late last night doing the dancing. She looks absolutely gone, but don't worry, you finish work in 30 minutes. So just a few more little bits of bobs, okay? A few more little bits. You're on. You're currently a medical assistant, but okay. Who are you transferring this to? Let's throw this one over to Estrella. Let's do that. There we go. And do you have time to do a quick eye check? Go, 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 go. See, I am helping out my fellow intern gang gang, okay? I am helping them. But that makes me worried that I'm having to transfer. Like, why am I transferring to people at the same level as me? That makes me, okay, she's completely ignoring me. She's like, no, I am gonna browse the vending machine. Actually, you won't, because you got to leave work in six minutes, so. <laughs> you think you won, Lila, but you did not. I am the sim controller. And, hey, sweetie, you've been on my mind a lot. Can you stop by for a few hours? Yes, that was from Ash, however. Um, I did a fantastic job today. I've been promoted to a medical technologist. I make an extra $20 per hour. Um, my next shift is tomorrow at 9 a.m. We did it! We got our promotion! Yay! And I am starving and feeling kind of terrible. However, Ash did say she wanted to see us and I want to go and tell them about my promotion. So let's head over to my parents' house, who are both old and who I both, if I did get married, I'd kind of want them to be there. Um, a rush wedding would kind of fit the whole- wait a minute. Pancakes? 
What? Why is their residence called the Pancakes Residence? Celia Pancakes. Venkat Pancakes. Oh my gosh, Celia's remarried. Well, she's married. She was never married in the first place. Celia's married and it's not to Dylan. She is a pancake. No wonder she's been rigging us so much and I've been ignoring her calls. And now she's a pancake. This is what happens when you don't answer your phone, guys. I can't actually believe this has happened. Wow. Okay. Also, Vernon is now a teenager as well. Okay, a lot has happened since I was here last. Jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, so what I was trying to say... Oh my gosh, Ash, please don't die of cold because you're grilling outside as well. I, I was trying to say that I really want my parents to be there if I do get married. So I might have to do a quicker wedding than I originally planned, which could be a reason that the, the wedding, like the marriage falls apart as well because it was just all a little bit too quick. But okay, Vernon has aged up. So I'm probably going to have to throw some CC on Vernon. Uh, let's do that and let's also go ahead and check out the pancake. <laughs> She's now called Vernon Pancakes. Oh my gosh. How have the pancakes infiltrated my family tree in this way? Seriously. I think at this point, my family tree includes all of the big Sims family trees. Didn't Jasper marry Cassandra Goth? And I'm pretty sure the land grabs are in there as well. Like, we've kind of hit everybody up. So here is Celia and then Venkat Pancakes. This is Venka, okay. Why is everyone got elf ears? Like, I'm really tempted to just like not make this a thing or like get rid of them from here because all my townies keep getting them. Even though I said it to be um, like, make it so that townies couldn't get them. They all still are, which is super annoying. Like it's meant to be my special thing and you're ruining it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a few little tweaky bobs to him. Keep him roughly the same, but just like dial it down a little bit. Cause I feel like townies over time if you've had many generations they do start to get some very prominent like and exaggerated features i don't have any really tight um curls so i'm just kind of leaving his hair the way it is right now i really need to get some like alpha hair like this if anybody has some please let me know because the closest i probably have is this but it's kind of covering his whole eyebrow situation. I happen to like his eyebrows, so I'm gonna keep those as they are. So here is Venka, and then here is Teenage Vernon. <gasps> oh, she's so short. Oh, that's cute. And I think I'm gonna kind of go a little bit more based off the toddler appearance. Because I feel like, did the hair go blonde? Am I imagining the hair going blonde? Because the father did have blonde hair. But, um... I feel like a darker hair just suits her better. It looks cute. Yeah, despite the fact that her parents seem to be like co-parenting together pretty successfully and also the romance kind of came back, but they didn't stay together regardless. So yeah, now we've got Venka and we've also got teenage Vernon. So let me know what you guys think of them. This is why I like setting my households to Unplayed, by the way because then they create their own drama and their own stories and I get to watch them all unfold, which is fun. So yeah, it's kind of nice spending a bit of time at the family home, spending a bit of time with like Vernon. I feel like we knew her a little bit, but we kind of moved out when she was still pretty young. Also that I'm kind of wishing she'd budge up the sofa just one because I, I want to just go around to my mom's house and have a little nippy nap, you know? That's kind of where I'm at right now. I would just like to have a nap. However, everyone's in the way and I can't. We've also got, of course, um, oh my gosh, your name was just gone. Surin, adorable little Surin here as well, who is also a teenager. Ooh, who are you sending messages to? Cute, 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 cute. And new man on the scene, v Venka, Venka. Kind of sounds a little like MK, but okay. And geez, Ash, to say you were the one that was excited to see me. Where are you? Where are you? You're in here doing press ups as an elder. Um, I thought you were really looking forward to me coming around, but I guess not. I'm gonna give her some medical advice to you, like, maybe now that you're a little bit older, like, calm it a little bit with the fitness and the working out. Maybe just, you know, be a little bit more chill. Also, maybe let her know that we are, uh, if I've got it as a memory. Yeah, I can confess to having my first kiss, you know, say that we've... We've met someone, which is really, really exciting, and uh, maybe you'll get to meet them soon. I was hoping to see Saj some, but I've not seen a hair and a tail of them, because I wanted to check how many days these guys have left to live, because I think that might cause me to move things up a little bit, because I kind of want them to be there. Okay, here is Saj Sam. Saj Sam has five days. Okay. We really don't have that long left with this gen, so Saj Sam only has five days left. 
So if we want to do a wedding, we really don't have much time. And Venkat is like, this is inappropriate. Please stop napping. Hello? I was at this house a long time before you, Venkat. And I've just come off a shift. Uh, my internship at a hospital. I should be... Whoa! He's so annoyed that I'm taking a nap. What is all that about? These guys didn't seem to care. Okay, whatever. I guess me and Papa will head our little butts home and we'll go have a proper sleep. Bye. Rude. Rude. Oh, but before I sleep, I gotta finish this off. Gotta finish this off for my baby first. Oh, no. Okay, apparently not. Although Papa doesn't seem to mind too much because, um,. Papa's just flopped on the floor next to me as well. But I will finish off your foodies before I head to bed. That's so cute that when dogs are just like, oh, we're sleeping on the floor. Oh my gosh, best idea ever. Yes, so here for it. I feel like that is very dog energy. That is why we love dogs. That is why even though I'm literally falling asleep, I will finish off your little chicken and beef number because you deserve it because dogs deserve it. Okay, and to get a promotion at my next level of my job, I have to successfully diagnose and treat a patient. So this isn't just like doing all of the groundwork and then transferring the case on, hoping that somebody else manages to get into the treatment phase and then I can swoop in and treat them. I have to actually do everything myself, which means I also have to know what the illness is. So let's see how we can do. And I'm gonna have to buy her a better bed. She's not really getting a great deal of sleep in this bed. I feel like a bed upgrade is the next thing I'm gonna get. Yeah, because like I wake up and I don't have like full energy, which is super annoying. Also, oh no. I couldn't afford these last time, but I can do now. So I'm gonna buy her a little box of tampons and pets. And Papa is a very involved dog. Like you actually have to be in the bathroom with me while I do this. This is maybe... Maybe just a little bit much. Why don't you go eat your food? There we go. And just give me, give me just two seconds. You're a big dog. And I've woken up with a bit of an emotional day. I'm feeling oversensitive. So I need a bit of space pupper, okay? I'm not going to cook. I'm just going to eat leftovers. I'm taking a bit more chill today. Okay. We're at work. We're at work. One thing I'm noticing is my fun is really low. Like, I don't think she finds the job fun. <laughs> Which, like, is being a doctor Fun. I guess some people will generally find it fun. I feel like stressful. It's probably quite stressful. Um, but yeah, she's not really getting much out of it, which is going to be good for the rest of her like future vibes. Oh, and she wants to go repair the x ray machine. That is actually not a bad shout because I feel like we're probably going to need that today. But today is the day where I run all of my tests on a patient and... Oh, she's have to go change actually first. Okay. And then see what's happening with Brenton. Oh, geez, you're getting very distracted. You know what? We might not even need to do an x-ray, so why don't we just focus on what we need to do today, which is finally diagnose and treat a patient completely on our own. So let's go do a body scan and run tests to find diagnosis. Well, I guess that's all of the tests and stuff that we do on them. This right here, I'm hoping, is going to be my first ever treated patient. Julius Prego. Okay, now I actually get the diagnosis options available. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and take a temperature and do a little swap. Ooh, we already have a decent diagnosis chance. Nice, 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 nice. Compelling diagnosis. Okay, it's one of three. I feel like I need a bit more than that. That is still quite a lot of potentially getting it wrong. I'm gonna analyze, analyze, analyze. That's what I was gonna say. Um, his sample first. And I've got to repair this before I can use it. <gasps> Just it to be broken on the day that I need to try and do everything on my own. And yeah, since my fun is low, I'm gonna try and blow some steam. I am gonna see if Molly would like to go on a date with me this evening. Guaranteed diagnosis. What? He's got nothing wrong with him. Well, I can't treat him then. No way, I've spent all this time on this patient and there's nothing wrong with them. It's a guaranteed diagnosis. Are you kidding me? What is this? Does this still count? Is it still gonna count as treating them? Oh my gosh. I spent all that time and the man was just a hypochondriac. There's literally nothing wrong with him. I thought I was building up my case really easily. Ugh, so much wasted time. And I was gonna move on to this girl next, but um, Jenny, Jenny who's got the coat. Jenny is doing so much better than me. What, Jenny? Okay, uh, Jenny is definitely got promoted ahead of me. Uh, Jenny stole that patient, although honestly, probably better because Jenny's got a coat. I want a coat. So we're going to be doing Emery instead, which by the way, is a really nice name. I like that name a lot. Now I know at this point I can save time by like watching what goes on with a patient and using that to help with my diagnosis. But 
I'd rather just do all of the tests and stuff. Because I find I still, even with like the little guide online, I still end up getting it wrong. So... <gasps> and Brent said, why are you helping Jenny? Help me. I've been giving you all the cool cases for so long as well. Wow. Okay, I've tried to get out of it for so long, but I need to repair the X-Men machine, so... Emery, you better be my patient. If anyone comes into this room, I swear, Emery is my patient. Stay out. It could be starry eyes, bloaty head, or no illness. If it's literally no illness, I'm gonna scream. Emery, don't do this to me. He's literally just sat there like, I am totally fine. I'm not ill at all. Why do you not look ill at all? You don't look ill at all. In fact, nobody looks really ill. Every no, you look super ill. Maybe I just need to switch patients. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna switch patients. I need to do a treadmill test anyway, and I can't do that on a child. Sorry, Emery. I'm too worried about you being- No. Jenny. Oh, don't you dare, Jenny! Okay, we're doing a good old- This is my first ever treadmill test, by the way. We've moved on to Ellis. Ellis Landgrab. I'm pretty sure my family's married into the Landgrabs at this point, too. So, I mean, I feel like we're extended family to all of the big shots in town at this point. However, you bet you've got stripy arms, so you better be legit sick, okay? If you've drawn them on with Crayola, I swear to God. I'm also gonna stay late. I know we're meant to be doing our date, but it's fine. We'll do it, we'll do it. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on. Find out. Stop just sitting there laughing! Oh my gosh, come on. She's got the diagnosis. Oh! <gasps> Gas and giggles! Oh my gosh, he actually has something wrong with him! Yes! Okay, you better be my- you better be my treatment. Successfully diagnose and treat a patient. Come on. Come on. Treat him. Why are you just chatting with him? Talking about healthcare, discussing his general health. You- you can treat him! What are you doing? Treat this person! Okay, this better be right, Lila. I mean, he definitely looks pretty tiger-esque right now. Please be right, please be right, please be right. Patient cured! Yes! Promotion task completed. I am really stinky. Is that me or him? Okay, that's me. I'll try and finish Emery off before the end of the day too, just because I feel kind of bad for abandoning him. And oh, I don't finish till seven and I need to get a shower before I see Molly next. But I've also got this whole thing on my head where I know that Saj Sam now has four days left to live. So I kind of would like, if Sims had someone to walk them down the aisle, I would want Saj Sam to walk me down the aisle, sadly. Like, the Saj Sam walk would just be so iconic at a wedding. But if I don't get married in the next three days after today, it's not gonna happen. So, I'm kind of thinking a fast wedding that results in a marriage breaking down quite quickly, which I have to do for this generation, could be what we need to do. I might have to rush things a bit with Molly. <gasps> Look at Brenton and his little fancy coat. Usually he just wears scrubs. Look at him. To be fair, Brenton could also do it. Brenton would also be a good candidate for walking down the aisle. But I kind of need a reason for this marriage to fall apart. So I'm thinking rushing into it is a good one. Especially when Lila is so non-committal. Oh my gosh, look at the state. And like uh, unsure of what she wants in her future right now. Definitely would be quite stressful, wouldn't it? And I honestly feel like Emery's got nothing wrong with him. I genuinely do. But if it's wrong, then my work performance goes down. So I'm just gonna leave that for someone smarter than me. And the day is done. And we've got our promotion task done. So I don't actually need to join her the next time she goes into work, which is awesome. Big thumbs up. Okay, we're home, we're home, we're home. I'm gonna do a quick shower and then we're gonna see if Molly wants a date. So something I noticed about Molly, by the way, is that Molly is the art lover. I don't know what her lifetime aspiration is. I mean, I did make this one, but I still can't really remember. But we know that Molly is in Inten Gang Gang, so is also a doctor. One thing I was thinking is, if both of them are doctors, like it's hard, it's stressful, but they're both trying to like earn enough money. If it's Lila that's like, lol, I'm not gonna be a doctor anymore. Oh, friends and wants to come over and hang out. I can't, I've got a date. If um, Lila's like, okay, I'm quitting my job to become an in, in the entertainment career. And Molly also secretly doesn't like being a doctor as well. She's gonna be like, well, I can't just quit everything now and start off again from fresh because you've just done it and there'd be no income and it's like resentment and basically both of them are actually creatives that have gone into a very like, they've just gone into completely the wrong career. I'm kind of vibing that. I kind of feel like that would be a good 
a good way to take things, but for now, I just need to focus on actually getting to this date. So let's go ahead and ask Molly on a date. We've literally only kissed once, but already we're like planning out a whole life with this girl. But I kind of feel like that suits Lila's personality quite a lot. I kind of feel like she's, ooh, should we go to the breakfast club? Or should we go to Dave and the bowlers? A bowling date could be kind of cute though. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, I kind of feel like this fits Lila because she's like indecisive, but then when she wants something, she's like, all in intensely for a while and then she moves on to the next thing straight away. Okay, and I'm hoping it does. Oh, wow. Okay, this is exciting. This is exciting. I've not been on a bowling date in so, so long. So let's grab us both a beer and then do some bowling. My fun is super low. So this has got to be the most fun bowling ever. And oh my gosh, look. Oh, is this like a bowling night? These guys are taking it very seriously. I mean, we're in matching clothes, but just because we're both wearing purple, we don't literally have matching bowling shirts on. And I feel like we need to grab a lane before anybody else jumps in. Let's do a five frame game with Molly. Just us two, no one else is invited. It's just us as a date, okay? And can I order like food to the table and stuff? Like you can't do, a no. That would have been really cool though. In fact, I don't know if I know if I can drink and bowl because they're kind of just standing here. Oh no, they can't, they can't, they can't. Oh, the drink is gone though, but whatever. We're doing a little bowl together. Oh, and she's like all like gooey. How cute is that? Why would you want to talk about your recent bath? Honestly, no. Why would it offer to talk about the bath over the promotion? Of course, I'm going to talk about my recent promotion. And oh my gosh, could you know me land grab? I know I recently cured one of your family members, but could you honestly like read the room, please? Read the room. And you're dressed as a knight. Just go away. Oh, and I need to leave to go and... Oh, geez. Yeah, I forgot that we are... Oh, okay. I need, I need to use the room. Can you guys leave, please? Thank you. Yeah, we are feeling a little bit dazed, a little bit dizzy. And let's see what Molly's like at bowling. Let's see if you're any good, Molly. Ooh. Oh, 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 jeez. Okay. You might have kicked our butt at dancing, but now who's embarrassing themselves? Okay, I need to bowl really cool and show off. Show off in front of Molly. Go, go, go. And I think that Molly might be flirty drunk because look at that little cheek blush. I mean, it really annoys me, honestly, that they get dazed and drunk after one drink. I don't know why that's a thing. I think I need to... Whatever mod is doing that, just like... I think it's slice of life. I don't like that they get drunk that quickly. It kind of annoys me, so... Okay, let's see what Lila's like at bowling. I think this is one of those five, five level skills. So if we're pretty good at this, oh my gosh, she's smooth at bowling. I will say that. Um, if we're pretty good at this, then we could uh, use this as one of our max out skills. Oh no! <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not. We're not great at. Let's see if Molly is. Oh, okay, we're both hilariously bad together. It's even trying to clown on the screen. We'll both be bad at bowling together. I think that's kind of cute, okay? However, I'm enjoying the in-between bowling frames flirtations going on. Bowling's a good, like, fun date activity. I now really want to go bowling with Ali. I don't think we've been bowling in so long. Oh, how have you just done that? Wow, impressive. Well, I'm also a bit worried because Molly's now hysterical and we all know how that went for such Sam. Um, he actually died when he was hysterical, so we're, we're almost having too much fun. This is just too much fun. I'm, I'm gonna try and- oh my gosh, it's night-night, isn't it? There's just nights everywhere. I hate that. I actually hate that. I am gonna order some food for us, some pita and hummus, maybe? And oh no, it wants to end the date in one minute! No, it's having so much fun! Don't you dare end the date, Sims! No, 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 we're only just getting the chance to, like, sit and talk. If she leaves now, I swear to God, I'm going to scream. Because I feel like this is just like absolute... Oh, we're so tired as well. Peak Lila personality. She's like, uh-uh, none of that. I'm trying to eat my hummus and pita. But I'm going to propose a crazy scheme to her. I feel like Lila... Ooh, gold medal. Gold medal. I'm going to add her to a group to make sure she can't escape. You stay right here. Oh my gosh, people need to stop sitting at my table. No, Kingston. This is not for you. Get out of here, okay? We're trying to have a date type scenario. We've just had a gold date. And I want to end things on a high. I want Lila to be like, look, I know this is crazy, but I'm the kind of person that believes in my intuition, my own feelings. When I meet someone and I know it's the right thing, when I, when I anything in my life that I know is the right thing, I just go for it. That's why I knew I wanted to be a doctor. Obviously, she's totally wrong in that one. But she's like, I've got a really good feeling about us. I want to take things next level. One, I want us both to be totally official. Which Molly is totally happy about, which is real cute. But two, Molly just became the girlfriend. Okay, well, 
I am gonna ask if, um, to save cash as interns, if she would like to move in, which I know is a big crazy step and things are going really, really fast. Um, but this is Lila, she's impulsive and she is non-committal. So although she wants all in now, is she gonna want it all in when she wakes up tomorrow? I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, move Molly in on us. Molly's in a household by herself and brings two grand to the equation. So we can at least get ourselves a better bed, which I'm very excited about. And okay, making ourselves right at home. So Molly is now living in the household. Yes, I'm aware things are going very fast, but it's all to prepare for the inevitable downfall of the relationship. And I'm gonna use my newly acquired funds for, yeah, a better bed, which will hopefully uh, mean that we actually get a little bit more rested each night. Also, I am just gonna send them both to bed. Um, also, cause you know, we are a little bit in pain right now. And also look at this, a little less single from the single and loving it lifestyle. A new relationship is a happy event in any Sims life, but Lila can't help but feel like that means she'll have less time for herself. Um, this is a cool thing, by the way, what you can do is if I make Lila sleep here, or I used to be able to do, I need you to budge up. Budge up to this side. You you are sleeping on this side. And you sleep on this side. Budge up. Okay, they're meant to budge over, but she's not doing it. How is Molly meant to sleep? She's not going to be able to sleep? Why you suddenly decided you're not going to be budging up the bed anymore? This is all incredibly annoying. Man, if anyone knows if there's a modded double bed that's a bunk bed, please let me know because I really want to try the under underneath the bed uh, living room. I think that would be really cool. Especially because we're living in a tiny build right now. Um, but in the meantime, how can I make this room fit? Because the bed did go like this and then we switched it up when we started uni. But now like, where can I fit my desk? I don't know if you'd be able to have a desk anymore. The only option would be to get rid of the dresser and put the desk there instead. It didn't really matter before because there was just one of you, but you are having to make a few little sacrifices. Can I put the dresser there? I know it's clipping the curtain. But can I keep all the furniture if I do things this way? Oh, you can! Okay, and can you sleep here? And can you sleep here? Oh, you guys totally can. How is it 6 a.m. in the morning? Hello, what? Yeah, I have zero idea how that has happened, but somehow it is 6 a.m. Uh, somehow it's the morning time. And yet again, we have had a terrible night's sleep. However, actually, thanks to our new shiny bed, not so terrible after all. And um, we got work in two hours where she's probably gonna get promoted. So everything is going much better than expected. And Molly now lives in the same house as us. Molly, who now that I've moved it in, suddenly does not have a job anymore, which feels like bug. So I've put Molly back on the doctor's career because they were both in intern gang gang, so that makes sense. And these two ladies are now living together. I know we're moving very fast. Don't worry, gang. It's all part of the story of the Plumberry Sims. So let me know what you guys thought of today's episode. I was right, by the way. Molly has the painter extraordinaire lifetime aspiration. So it's probably going to end up feeling just as trapped in the Doctor career as Lila does. But both of them quitting when there's bills to pay? Nope. Probably something they need to have a discussion about over who does it. However, Lila and her impulsive, non-committal nature means that we will, I think, after our next promotion, be quitting to join the entertainment career. But one thing I would like to do first is get these guys married because I need to get married for part of this challenge. And I do want to get them married whilst um, Saj Sam is still on the scene. Because a lot of you guys like the idea that maybe Saj Sam's death is what pushes Lila into going, like following our heart. I'm going into the entertainment career, so we've got four days left of such some. So I think maybe a wedding the next episode. So we get a final uh, final celebration with um, such some and all the rest of the family will be there as well. I know it's speedy. If it's too speedy, let me know what you guys think. But if you think it's in tune with the challenge, let me know what you guys think as well in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am excited um, to have Molly as another sim to control in the household too. I can handle two is fine and i will see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching bye